Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto V, Episode Nine. I think this might this might be the one. This might be the one, gang. It's a lot of build up, a lot of, a lot of mixed feelings. Now, Trevor found out that Mikey is a is a traitor, and the Chinese kidnapped Michael, but Franklin busted him out. And now, Michael got his family back. He's got everything to lose. And I forget what the actual mission is. What the fuck? Oh shit, yeah. Gotta do the FBI raid. Also, Michael told fucking the son that he's gonna be dead in a few weeks. Let's go. Let's prepare for another heist and fucking place. Let's go. so cool calm and collected for <laughs> I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago ah, thanks for the moral support I appreciate it what the fuck ever happened to bury in the past huh any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf right well first your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree and second the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talk and new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, so what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm going to miss this get place. Get after it, boy. I think we're going to do this thing and maybe take that score. Not very optimistic. No, I, I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Let's go, gang. Why the fuck would I ever drive Franklin anywhere? This, this doesn't make sense that Franklin's not the designated driver. Agent Shit, what the fuck? Cleared the noose building in Why the hell is this some plane? All, all right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? See, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. 
Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. <laughs> what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Mike. Rich. <laughs> Mike Michael. Poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get in the shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart. Put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, <laughs> You're a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay. Okay. I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Lately? Just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while. Welcome, so we got to hold off any resistance. Once we're in the we system, doing the we download big the one. files. Chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dog. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it. All right, we're coming up. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be ready. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Always on time, bro. This place is in the creeps, Holmes. Same with the set pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building calling in updates. On it, bro. Where the I'll fuck do I have that Oh, yeah, I'm a fucking FBI Hey, here we go, man. This is on. Hello? Excuse me. What the fuck? Hey, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Not opening the gate for me, bro. Into it, that makes sense. Let's go. All right, you're Haynes's pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. All right, all right, all right. You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump. Where the fuck is my wait? said the timings were tight so uh, let's do this damn thing fucking hell is this I'm taking us up to jump altitude feels weird not having Trevor on the stick feels okay to me he might be a better pilot but I'm less inclined to kill you in your sleep. Gee, if that ain't what he says, okay. I'm less inclined <laughs> to stab you in the face and then do funny things to your corpse. That sounds about right. Hey, everyone, quick pep talk. My friend Franklin here called me out for being an ungrateful prick on the way over here. I have to admit, I've been remiss. Everyone's being paid on this run except me. But it ain't Whoa. great money for the crazy target you're drawing on your back. Gangster. Thank you for your efforts. It means a lot to me. I picked you guys out of wow. shit show. So take something from that if you will. There'll be more scores down the road. Maybe a big one. It's sunnier days ahead. But this is where we are right now. So let's try to survive it and achieve our objectives. We stick together, we might Good leader. not die. That's what's getting me through this. Alright. When you say jump, I'll jump. Hey, come on. Grab the stick. You got it. Ready? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm lucky I'm bored I can't breathe at this altitude. Let alone calculate the odds of surviving the jump, landing, fucking firefighters, whatever else blow back your 
Wait, this is supposed to be the fucking stealthy option. Oops. What the fuck? Let's go. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Gotta remember what my boy, what my boy taught me. This your show? Sh 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 Fucker. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Alright, we gotta gotta do a little compromise there. Fuck, did I fuck it up again? Great for you guys. Great for you. Motherfucker. Fucking motherfucker. Alright, so I have to fucking basically bomb it and then try to pull up at the right time. Mother, mother, fuck. Shit, 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 shit,
fucking bitch. Okay. How, how are we gonna do this? Show, do this? Come, on. come on! How the fuck am I gonna get on there? Gently, gently nudge in the direction. That's the way to do it. Nice. First try. That's not being funny. Okay. What the fuck? How the fuck can I control that? This is garbage. Motherfucker! What the fuck? What the fuck is that supposed to? <sighs> so basically, free fall until you're there. You have to just gently, gently get your way there. Okay, these guys look like they're on the mark. Shouldn't be any issues there. Franklin? Okay. Motherfucker, what the fuck? What the fuck? How could I control that shit? How are they fucking perfect skydivers until the second I fucking... Yes. 
fucking Franklin. Get over here, you fuck. They're supposed to do more training with them or some shit? Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. You got it. Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, fuck. I'm in the building. Good for you, bro. I'm out here. <laughs> this fucking guy. Room sealed. Hold while I gain access. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for right I think maybe the alarm's going. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. I don't have to tell you, bro. I think everything you need's on your cell. They better be. Maybe they're in, like, my computer. So, if I were you, I'd, like, find my hack programs. And then I'd, like, run the connector. At least one of us is a computer expert. So, I'm thinking you, like, find that number at the top and all those numbers in the middle? There's a lot of fucking numbers, bro. To be honest, I must Fuck. have skipped this class in school. All yes. right, I'm connected. No thanks to you. No need to be aggressive, bro. I'm stretching myself. Okay. You see what the other program does. Fuck. I think you're looking for a password here. So, like, yeah, you're trying to stop those red letters in the middle. There might be a bit of laggage or something. Dynamite. <laughs> Okay, I'm in. You got anything other than a guess for this part? You never mention anything about networks, bro. Just saying. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. I think they're coming. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we'll prepare for this. Let's take it. I'm sticking here, guarding the file transfer. <laughs> Dip out. Get on the 
the floor. Where are you going? Weapons free. Come on, come on. I got this door. Dude, got it. Let's move. Nice. Good job, bro. Opening. Can we go? Come on! Hey, we got a problem up here. Sprinkler system. Can't see anything. Man, can a hacker shut it off? Lukens. Sprinkler system. You got any ideas? I would. Of course. Why did I ask? <laughs> All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in and out. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Oh. oh! All right, baby. Let's go. I thought you'd be Eric. Oh, why you tell me? Oops, my bad. My bad. Let's go. You are dead. You got to go, man. I call him bed. I got a vendetta. Damn, come on, we go. We're coming through. 
You got my what? You got my Watch what? People. Hey, this could be our way out. We low enough? Yeah, this will do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Same old shit, bro. Making bacon. <laughs> Then we better get <laughs> down before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. Let's go, boys. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in LS County on the way. It don't Old look square. like for us. Not yet, at least. Fucking go! <laughs> what the fuck? We gotta take out that chopper. Yes. Us if any of you assholes lets off a shot, so don't, all right? All right, all right, we're clear. Frank, I told Les we could use your place for a post-mortem. All right, Kareem. Hey, good work getting the ambulance. When I brought those sports bikes down the tunnel after Vangelico, man, I thought long and hard what to bring along this time. Yeah, screwing up once is understandable. Twice, unacceptable. Remember that if I ever hire you again. Well, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of it. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? I got a lifestyle to maintain. Cars, holidays, my watch collection, hormones. So what if my cell phone <laughs> tells the time? Having a cell phone ain't the same as wearing 12 grand on your wrist. You can't begrudge me my passions. It wasn't my intention to begrudge you anything, pal. That said, I see you spending this money in a way that the authorities will notice. You're gonna wake up one morning with a gun in your mouth. Uh, um, okay. Of course. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Kareem, Frank's place is up here. You think you can dispose of the vehicle and drop him somewhere? I think I can manage that.
Good looking out, dogs. Ah, I think Lester let himself. Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer, I was gonna torch this place too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it. <laughs> we did. It. Yeah. yeah. Fucking it. The boys. I got it. It's right here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loathing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else. I'd rather rob a federal. Uh -huh. Amen to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Man, it's Trevor, and I'm out. No, oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Breaking! Lester! Lester needs... <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to hang out with those guys. <laughs> we'll get Michael's cut to zero. Franklin get 200. Lester 39. No innocence. Oops. Okay, that's more accurate. Alright, fair enough. Wait, what the fuck? How come I can't? We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. The fuck is the court center? All right, that's not too far. What the fuck? Baby, what are you doing? The neighbors are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. That's it. Walk away like you always do. <laughs> hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. <laughs> yeah, I would if I had a vehicle to give you a ride in. Let me see what I can do. Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. Just not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. Can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. So, you're just gonna leave all your stuff in the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Michael. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. What is that? Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think Look I got out. off lightly. I like your car. So, hmm. what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? I don't know. I'm not that careful. Then again, neither is my wife. If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. 
Come by the club. I'm here yeah, most sure. days. She just never win. Alright, Dave, you little fuck. I'm gonna have to kill you. Is this guy? I know you could switch views. My good bad boy suit is the best. Best trip in the game. Although Trevor's shit that I got is pretty lit too. Ah, fuck. Hey, baby, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys. Bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Cut those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davey boy. You can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so right. far. Time to kill you guys. Things have been a little unorthodox, but fucking orthodox! You ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because, because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Oh, shit, my boy. to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. 
anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking <laughs> rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Oh, fuck shit. You. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Oh. What the fuck? Shit. Oh shit. Shit, the boys. Job, T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run. Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad. And would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Where the fuck are they? You know how much attention you'll get if I go down today. They're behind the columns under Michael. Without me, the Bureau will be on you 24 hours a day. I don't fucking see any of them, bro. It looks like there's a window. D. Not. 
Don't mind me. Just trying to earn a dime. Wait, what the fuck? Fuck are these fuckers? Looks like inappropriate public spending to me, man. You really want? Which one's fucking mine? Don't die! What the fuck? Shit. We did it. What the fuck is this shit? You're fucking kidding me. Hey, bro. You gotta have some fucking cab. I'd like to order a cab, please. I'm really sorry. Motherfucker.
go, baby. How does Kyra reward? Oh, no, out of cab, see? My fucking story. Whoops! I fucking knew it. Helicopter is post helicopter. Fucking go, bro. Hurry up. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Okay, we got this. Got this easy. Incredibly easy. Let's do it. Motherfuck. Sick whip. That's what I said, but accent, bitch. Well, that was fun. Yeah, what easy. Are you 
doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? That wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to... I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been... What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Oh, no, none. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. We already history. made fucking history. Nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Where the fuck did he go? Where's my sick car? Where'd my sick car go, bro? Franklin and Green. This shit car. Okay. Whoa, shit. Hey, what the fuck did you do to my car, bro?
Sí, solo más. Hold on. Let me put on some proper threads first. What the fuck? Nah, it's work. Wait, wait. Let's go. Skinny jeans a little too tight. Fuck happened to my mission. What the fuck? That was weird. <laughs> Fuck is this? Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? Fuck this bitch. I mean, I'm real glad you here. Come here. I no, fucking liar. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real, my best friend, my homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man, but no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. Fuck about it you. for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You gotta help him, Franklin. Man, nah, I don't give old. a shit about oh, you, dog. I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with Stretcher set him up. Fuck, man, my whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterwards. I don't give a shit. Why well, the fuck are you doing whatever the fuck this bitch? Me. I don't give a shit about you. you. For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own. I don't care fuck how this bitch. You it ain't for me. Not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you no you what fuck this bitch, man? What the fuck is wrong with this? Who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Let him die. 
Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Why the fuck would I do this? This is not fucking... He's a fucking simp. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad <coughs> situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ball. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Let's go, baby. Hold up, can I cut across this shit? There's a water. Fuck it. in the mood. Fuck up my way. How the fuck does she even know this? She a rat. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Yeah, Franklin's rising up. 
place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I say shut up. Now I see the weed. Tell Trevor. Oh shit, there you go. You know, tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he <coughs> fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh. I... He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. Alright, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. Alright, bulldozer it is. Where is this next spot? Mm, not bad. They coming for us right now. What the fuck?
Where the fuck are they? What the fuck? Alright, no. Can't have Frank with that. He runs away from the fight, I run What the fuck him. is this? I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Mobilize, motherfucker. This shit is on. This is too organized for me. Come on. Gangster families for life, motherfuckers! Frank, you found Lamar yet? What the fuck? I'm gonna find a way in. Okay, let's actually set this shit up this time. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting.
said the back side was away from your gun. That'll suit me. Hmm. All right, my turn to move. All right, I'm at the spot. When the time comes, I'll do what I can from up here. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. All right, I'll take that on board. See how this conservative approach works. How the fuck is this guy still alive? Go dog. What the fuck? This time we play smart. Give us a signal when you're ready, Frank. Let's go find a dude. Lay it down, fire. Here I come, assholes. You got a friend of ours. Get 
families for life, motherfuckers! Very fun. Be He's fucking alive.
You got a friend of ours! Where you got LD? Gangster families for life, motherfuckers! Ah! Lamar! Where's he at? On Lamar! Hey, Lamar! Let's go before they turn you into a wood chip! Oh, crazy dude! Hey, homie! Yeah, 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 get up! Let's go! Come on, guys, they're here in force! You gotta move! Gee, call me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply. Easy. Easy Shit, mission. Homie. Fuck right. it, I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what, what y'all, what a 
trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the fist ain't. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even fuck, man. And I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times with... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This... This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot. Since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making that the is best out of what I'm getting. That literally you know what I'm is. About? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got. And we gon' do something about that, dog. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? I don't need it. fucking help. Piece me, of shit. Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. The all is beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Four gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly, you can't. Motherfucker. Don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk. Let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. <laughs> this man, fucking boy, piece of I'm shit, man. That it happens to. You gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit. Your overpaid ass is yeah, Fuck this guy, too. man. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Oh! Yeah! Hey! Niggas want me dead? Be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Man, fuck this guy. Nigga, stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, stress knew. Everybody knew stress knew. Tanisha knew stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? You don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the bricket in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of... Fucking hell. Them got booked, so now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit and FC wasn't getting him out of it. Oh! Uh, immigrant uh, cop uh, oh, Come on, you piece of shit! Damn. Look out the way! Oh, brother. Your mommy didn't teach you fucking manners. That ain't hood, man. Cool it. Stop! Stop.
Come on, bro. Fucking hell. Time to use the powers. See if I can wait for it to blow over and then back to the map. Oops. Alright, well, thank you. Hopefully. Hello, sir. You're the red. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass. Bro. Fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> you should have seen your face when I came in. You was... All right. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, boy. Shit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your wife. Man, God, homie. 
I'm going to the Great Plain. Yon with a buffalo keeper. Bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. Jesus. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga, don't think it ain't no fun if you have fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here and shit. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you. I guess payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dog. Yeah, bitch. Supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Fuck you, Lamar. No, nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dog? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I hey, got fuck you, dog. you bro. Good no, fuck this you. guy. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga. If you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something, or invade some fucking country. No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this. Thing. Mm. What Get the Mike fuck? Me and Trevor cool, dog. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. What the fuck? Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Flossing ass, nigga. Goddamn. Thirty five percent, eighteen out of eighteen. Hey, T, I'm bored, man. Want to hang out or something? And I thought I was the clinging hippie stalker. All right, some other time it is. Alright, fuck this guy. <laughs> I 
need some place secluded to get in the mood. What are you horny for, baby? Gotta give give her the RT for Who the fuck is Don? And now it says Michael. Look at see who this Don motherfucker is. It's just a robbery, sweetheart. You insure. What the fuck? You know what the FIB fucking dead quarter? Who the fuck is Dom again? Dom the fucking... The top of the maze. Nah, fuck that. Am I waiting here? You made it. Good. Okay, let's go. 
So? So what? What now? Just don't get involved, kid. Seems like I'm already involved. Well, then you're dead, too. Trevor, he ain't right. I mean, we're not right, but he's really not right. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm not sure I do. Well, I suggest you learn, then, and learn fast. Otherwise, he'll eat you. And I don't necessarily mm. mean that metaphorically. He thinks you'll eat me. No doubt. But ask yourself why I did what I did. So bad? Did I really have a choice? You ask yourself that before you make any moral judgments on me. Hmm. I know about this. Whoa, sexy lady. Come on, there's no fucking video of them drinking or Yeah, what the crack? You know what? Screw it, man. Screw it. What? What do you mean, screw? What only screw? I don't need to feel bad about it, right? Hey, fuck being ashamed. Feel me in, bro. You a married man, you ought to feel bad and ashamed about screwing anyone. No, no, hey, no, 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 you gotta run. Screw feeling bad about drinking. I drink and I like it. Uh, hi, dog, that's great. Duck off. All right, man. Good to see you. Absolutely, M. See you soon. What the NPC fucking? <laughs> okay, at least he's wearing the sick grips, though. You gotta stop that guy. He jacked all my money. Is he is he fucking on a motorcycle or man? I didn't really care. He better be on a motorcycle. Fuck that. Trying to find him, but there's no evidence of my backtracking. Oh. Mind. 
If you can't find your size, we'll order it. It's a whack ass tuxedo. Damn, my fucking black suit looks way better than this. I've paid this guy to drive us. Get in the back. Stop messing around. It's your premiere. A stretch limo. Hey. Oh, that's last, Jim. Vinewood Boulevard. Hey. The Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog. Hey. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer. Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie <laughs> producer's back. kid. Jimmy. I'm going to ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm going to get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm going to sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer, too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> You see the street's edge, losers? Chisel in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Finewood? You hear that, Finewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the B. Jimmy. Read my necros. Entitled. <laughs> N T uh, Title Cause I am Jimmy Oh Pop Chill I'm done spraying this shizzle Let's take a drink The fuck is Devin Jimmy shut up a second Hey Devin look I need to say about Molly man I'm sorry but I didn't do it I told you to slow it down Slick It was an accident I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. That didn't seem hey, real. We're here. Oh shit. Hot, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? What the uh, fuck home. are you doing? They'll uh, express their pride by showing up in the lake. Uh, of course they will. Look, we told you a thousand times you have to deliver on this. And you have it. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the thought is that uh, crossed my mind. Uh, Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Kate Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're going to see some side boot tonight. Come on. <laughs> we did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking it! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I see you. Who did it? Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone. Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame. Um, can I do some acting on the side? I was wondering if. Uh... Oh yeah, of course you should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called the Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go She's over here. Lying, okay? <laughs> I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um. Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, 
when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby? I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional stick. I just have a thought that really affected me. All right, I got to go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, <laughs> Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> The hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. <laughs> did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> <laughs> You twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim. Come on. Okay. Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. Save your family. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. His lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, no I yep. didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. What are you waiting for? That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girl. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. No 
Someone's gonna kill you. Daddy's got it. Fucking motherfucker. No. No. Let's see. Clear the house! All occupants! Fire in the hole! Not yet! Stay put! Take it down! DW said the asset! Neither do I. Just keep calm. It's a motherfucker! Are you okay? I'm fine, Tracy. You just stay down, sweetie. Give me some cover! This is it! Don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get Ooh. the fuck off me! I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? 
Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Shit is taking way too long. What the fuck is this? So like man, I know it's rough out there, man, but you gotta have faith, man. Alright? It's everything's gonna be okay. Like the therapist above says, man, it's gonna be okay. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. I was thinking. Alright. Love that therapy. So like the alternative to life, man, is death. And the interesting thing is that, well, life is cool, but so is death, man. I mean, life is like a crazy mind fuck. And then death, well, I mean, that's like a crazy mind fuck too, man. It's outrageous praise. Oh, man, it's so rad. Yeah. Let me know how death is, motherfucker. Michael! Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house! I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look. I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. I wanna get revenge on those guys first. Shit! Speaking back. No Jimmy. It might doesn't matter. Bouncer? Sight. Mr. DeSanta, good to see you. Yeah. 
Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. Hey, yo! Hey, what's cracking, homie? Woo! Look at this city bounce! You serious, bro? Yeah. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. We'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid to manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Fuck. Man. Fuck it, let's go out. <laughs> mm. um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper. So these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. Dude was a clown on a jewelry store job. A little bit less of a clown on the bureau rate. But he'll do good on this one and we can still pay him dirt. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Now 
safety preserve. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we wanted? No, absolutely not. Let's see what he says about the other ones. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the arm. They took on the FIB with us. Yeah, they gotta be okay. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored car. Where the fuck are we at now? Some whack ass guy. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank if you need it, but we might be cool. Ah, Richard. He was a liability on the bureau raid. Was he? But I don't know. I think he's learned something. What did he liability? We need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. I said a fucking sheep cup. That was the end of the fucking mission. They only play like yeah, six songs here. They're making me crazy. <laughs> It's an up. online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Banham Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. You still owe me dinner. I'll remember. Stalin, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? You come along to see what it done. Two point. Where the fuck? Hold on, bro. You know how much this car got? Shit, the police just saw that.
this car is fucking shite. Kickstarter. I beseech you. a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Hey, you got my son in that car. Who is that animal? Oh my god. You can have your idiot son. Come, you did. Let me take you home. I'm kind of shaken up, Dad. Could you drive like a sane person? This driving is making me wish I was still kidnapped. Are you drunk, Pop? There's no point in saving me if you're just going to kill me in a car wreck. Are you taking your meds, Dad? You're driving weird. You're driving like a man who's taking a sleeping pill. <laughs> this driving is making me wish I was still kidnapped. You lunatic! Wish I... Hey, you hit me! Wish I was still kidnapped. I do. Are you drunk, Pop? Saving me if you're just going to kill me in a car wreck. Shut the Thank fuck you. up, Jimmy. Shit. How about that? Fuck, man. You, do you think? Do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Cause the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But. But I'm like his troll, Pop.
Can we go already? Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean... Mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes are not <laughs> funny. No, <laughs> you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. What the fuck? I mean, come on, dog. Shit! Let's go. Oh, man. Are you taking your meds, Dad? You're driving weird. You're driving like a man who's taking a sleeping pill. <laughs> hey, hey, careful. Yeah, I like this one better anyways. I'd like it if we went like now. Right away, bro. Damn, this is a bent against the uh, right bent. Careful, come on! in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while and don't wind people up so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. Hi. I'd like a table for two at seven. Alright, fuck this other... Mission for now. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. So, penultimate mission. I mean, penultimate episode. Pretty good one, I have to say. What do you think? Leave a comment. Leave a like. Leave. Leave. See you next episode, episode 10. Presumably the finale. I've been random, you've been excellent. We'll see you next time.